Good morning, Calvary. I'm Pastor Pete, and I have your word for the day. One of my favorite movie scenes is from Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. The characters, played by John Candy and Steve Martin, are traveling late at night on the freeway. Another driver, on the opposite side of the road, starts yelling at them, You're going the wrong way! You're going the wrong direction! And John Candy and Steve Martin laugh him off, saying, How would he know where we're going? They finally realized that they were on the wrong side of the road as they narrowly escaped death, scraping between two semi-trucks, which were coming head on. It's truly a great movie scene. Today's verse isn't quite as humorous, but it has the same idea. It's from Proverbs 16, verse 25. And this is what it says. There is a way that seems right to a man but its end is the way of death. You can see this illustrated in that movie scene. They thought that they were heading in the right direction, but if it was reality and not a comedy, they would have met their death. In our human frailty and sinfulness, we can evaluate a way of life and be completely wrong. We might consult with an expert, follow a crowd, or spend a great deal of time and money seeking out the right path of life, only to realize that it ends in death. There are several other verses in Proverbs 16 that describe how our thinking can be wrong. We might think hunger is bad, but in reality, it leads us to life because it drives us to work. We might think our secretly whispered plans will lead to prosperity, but instead it destroys relationships. The enticing words we hear from an acquaintance might seem wise, but instead they've led to ruin. Or, like it says in verse 31, we might not highly value that gray hair that's growing around our temples, but God compares it to a crown that is earned by a righteous life. God's word is here, letting us know when we're going the wrong way. God's spirit is working through his word so we can understand and heed the warnings. God is constantly calling us to life. All we have to do is listen. I hope that today's word for the day has been an encouragement to you and keeps you going in the right direction. Have a wonderful day.